But the study came to the conclusion that this was mostly because of the changes in the advertising market and the use of personal data, but not uh, a problem of copyright. Um, so the co uh, commission's reaction to this study was simply not to publish it. Um, the, uh, I obtained it through a freedom of information request that also included uh, an, an email in which it was made very clear that the hierarchy at the European Commission had decided that this, public, that this uh, study should not be published. Now, um, I think the, the big problem with these two proposals is that they address very basic functions of the internet, namely the way, basically the thing that makes the internet different from cable television. It's uh, the way that people can participate in the internet and that makes the internet a two-way communication channel. On the one hand, this is the hosting um, uh, function. Uh, before the web 2.0, basically, in theory, everybody could publish on the internet, but in practice, if you did not have the skills to run your own website, uh, it was relatively difficult to, to participate actively. And the web 2.0 with online platforms and hosting safe harbors has made it possible for a much larger number of people to participate and has also opened a new business opportunity for different <coughs> online platforms. And the other basic principle of the uh, internet that is affected by this proposal is the ability to link from one source to another. Um, historically, Linking as such has never been considered a copyright infringement because you are not using somebody else's uh, works, but rather you are referencing it, you are pointing to it. But this is increasingly changing, uh, both through a number of uh, European Court of Justice rulings where they say that under certain circumstances linking can be an infringement, and certainly through this new neighboring right for press publishers that will um, require permission even for using the headline of a news article that quite often is actually part of the link. So um, the, I think the end result of this new law will be that there will be new gatekeepers in place. This will be the companies that uh, are able to afford um, to build upload filters and possibly to also sell them to other companies and it will be the news publishers that will be able to exercise a, a much greater level of control over how news are shared on the internet. Um, so how did this proposal get so far? Um, in the parliament, uh, the vote uh, the parliament actually voted twice on this proposal. There was a first vote in July where uh, for the time being the proposal was put on hold after quite massive protests from, uh, from the public against uh, the dangers of upload filters and the link text. But uh, uh, after a few months of trying to find new wording, new compromises, in September the parliament did finally adopt its position in first reading. And um, there has been a lot of discussion in Brussels about why this change happened, and it certainly had a lot to do with uh, a very um, uh, open and public counter campaign from rights holders that has been mostly based on trying to discredit the protesters uh, against these proposals as all being paid by Google or possibly even being bots, uh, which is quite uh, ironic, I would say, because today Google is actually advocating for mandatory upload filters because they already have them. However, of course, they are against uh, a full copyright liability. So I think it's not so simple to say that everybody who is in favor of these proposals has the same interest and everybody who is against has the same interest. Um, I think the real reasons for why the vote changed are, are a little bit more subtle. So if you uh, compare the vote in July and the vote in September, you see that actually the difference is very small. In both cases, uh, it was a very close vote. And uh, the main differences are that uh, the largest party in the European Parliament, the European People's Party, uh, was present in much larger numbers at the second vote. Uh, and they were more disciplined. So it looks like uh, uh, the few people in the EPP that voted against uh, the article were kind of brought in line. Otherwise, the differences are extremely small and it's really a matter of a few people that have been convinced one way or the other. But I think this also shows that uh, it's very possible that the vote might go the other way around at the final vote after uh, the trials. 
So I want to very quickly um, compare what the parliament finally adopted, um, compared to also the text that was first rejected in July, and to also compare it to what is on the table in the council, because uh, in 